A smash and grab caught on camera. Right now, police in Warren are searching for the guys who ripped off an ATM at this gas station along Nine Mile and Ryan. The crime took less than five minutes, but did they shortchange themselves? Yeah, it turns out the ATM, guess what? It was empty. Oops. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Seven Action News reporter Nima Shafe has the details new at 530. That door right behind me ripped off its hinges within a matter of minutes, the suspects taking the ATM, all of it getting caught on that camera right above the door. We are neighborhood station. I mean, I think uh, me and my uh, co-worker, they very friendly to the neighborhood. So friendly that this morning, those who frequent Ahmed Albatat's Marathon gas station here are wondering what happened overnight. We don't have no a problem with the neighborhood and they've been helped us a lot. Around 2 this morning, vandals took advantage of the gas station, breaking through the front door and stealing the ATM inside. Just take a look at the surveillance video. You'll see it. The entire smash and grab taking less than five minutes. Ahmed tells me what he saw after the alarm company woke him up. I came to the store. The police was outside and the door was laying down on the ground. And uh, find out they didn't take nothing except the ATM machine. And here's another look. The suspects had to try their broken chain three times before the ATM fell off the ground, ripping the bolts that anchor it down. And here, you see the suspects sliding the ATM out on the ground. Then this. The suspects loading it up at 2.04 this morning. And this isn't the first time Ahmed has been forced to call police. He's had two similar instances over the past three years. I mean, you know, when you open business or store or whatever, that's the consequences. I mean, we already knew that. It's part of the business. Around any problem, I mean, you know, when anybody tries to start to dramas in the store, they call the police right away. And that's what he's hoping you do. If you were in the area last night around 2 in the morning and saw anything, call Warren Police. That was Nima Shafe reporting. Police are still searching for those suspects. We're told if convicted, they could spend up to life in prison. But again, that machine, police tell us, was empty.